Hello, welcome back to Big Boss Kitchen and welcome to those of you who are new to my channel. I would like to ask if you haven't subscribed, how about clicking the subscription button? Leave me a comment, give me a thumbs up, and don't forget to click the notification bell so you'll be notified when I upload a new video. I am going to be making some soup for our lunch tomorrow. It is called Italian Sausage Butternut Squash Soup. That's a mouthful, isn't it? Italian Sausage Butternut Squash Soup. And so I want to start by showing you the list of ingredients that it takes to make this soup. So let's get started. You will need unsalted butter, a yellow onion, red bell pepper, Italian sausage, hot, salt, pepper, garlic, butternut squash, chicken broth, bay leaf, great northern beans, and fire roasted diced tomatoes. Okay, you have to peel, seed, and dice your butternut squash, and so I will do that first. Okay, you want to cut your butternut squash into one inch cubes and so I'm gonna just get these cut up. Okay, I'm gonna take my sausage and remove the casings off of these. Okay, so now I have everything prepped and ready to start making the soup. Okay, the first thing that I'm going to do is take in my Dutch oven here and starting over medium heat, I'm going to melt a half of a tablespoon of butter in this and to that when it melts I will add my peppers and onions. Okay, those have been cooking now for two minutes. And so now I'm going to stir in my sausage. And I am actually going to add some extra sausage to my recipe. I'm doing um, the hot as well as a pack of the mild. You just want to break it up into your Dutch oven or your sauce pot, whatever you're using. Okay, now I am going to add my garlic and I'm going to season this with salt and pepper and let this cook for about one minute.
Okay, now I'm going to remove my meat mixture from the pot. You want to drain it, so use a slotted spoon. Okay, now I'm going to add the remaining butter, and I'm going to add my squash to this. And I'm going to cook this for two minutes. Okay, now I have to add my chicken broth to this. I will post this recipe below in the description box. Okay, I'm going to increase the heat to high. I'm going to add a bay leaf to this. I'm going to bring this up to a boil and then I'll reduce the heat back down to a simmer and let it simmer for a little bit. Okay, it has come to a boil and so now I'm going to reduce the heat down. I'm going to cover this with my lid and let it simmer for about 12 or 15 minutes until the squash is tender. Okay, I'm going to check my squash for tenderness. Oh, those are tender. So. I'm to remove it from the heat and remove the bay leaf. So I want to get the bay leaf out. Okay, and I want to take out a couple of spoons of squash and set aside. I'll use my immersion blender and blend all of the squash good. I want to puree them. You can also do this in a blender. See how well I have that blended now. Okay, I don't see any chunks. Okay, and now I will add the chunks of squash back to my soup. And I will set this back over medium heat. Okay, now I have rinsed and drained my beans, and so I'm going to add those back to the soup as well as my fire roasted tomatoes, diced tomatoes. And now I'll return my meat mixture back to the soup. I think this is going to be incredibly good. Oh my goodness, that looks so good. Okay, I will cook this for three or four minutes or until it's really heated through and then I will do a taste test for you. So I will be back. Okay, my soup has finished cooking and so I'm going to ladle some up and give this a try. Let's see just how good this is. This is Italian sausage butternut squash soup. So here is to you. Mm. That is delicious. Oh my goodness. One more bite. Mm. Mm. Wow. It's hard to describe. Um, the butternut squash is very smooth. The flavor is very smooth in that. But with the Italian sausage, it has that seasoning 
This is so good. Um, I hope that my son, Matthew, will like this. He's, he's kind of funny about eating squash. But um, with the tomato and the beans and the sausage, oh my gosh, this is really good. Let me have just one more bite, please. Mmm, 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 mmm. That's a keeper. I hope that you will give this recipe a try. It's not hard. The hardest part is just chopping up your vegetables. It's really very easy and quick to put together. So if you will, give it a shot. And see what you think about it. Comment to me and let me know what you think. But until the next time, this is Beba saying, may the Lord bless and keep you and your family safe. And until we see each other again, I hope you have a really great day. And I'm going to see you really soon in another video. You take care for now. Bye.